It's part six of our conversation with Joseph Williams. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. What would you say to your younger self, or would you say anything? I would say that, it, it, first of all, I don't know that I would listen. To, you know, I don't think my younger self would listen. Good point. But if I, if I could say something to my younger self, I would say, you know, uh, patience, Joe. Patience. Try and exhibit a little patience. Uh, I was a very imp- impatient person. Have to do this right now. Have to have that right now. Blah blah. And that you know, that's part of why I ran into the troubles that I ran into with with drugs and stuff. Was just impatience. It's just needing to needing to change the way you feel. Needing you know that kind of stuff. So just as an overall comment, I'd probably tell my younger self, you know, try and be more patient. Remember her sounds like if I wrote that song, I'd be writing it about Natalie Wood or something. It gave me that kind of vibe. Is that about someone specific? It is. It's about somebody called Cecilia Payne, who in 1925 was the person who discovered what what stars are made of internally. And she was never credited for her discovery. It was the discovery was credited to some man, to a guy. And so when I wrote the song, uh, I had it all finished with the line in the chorus, I will remember her. Well, will, will anyone remember her? And what I wanted the song to be about was about either one woman or several women that had contributed something to the world that nobody talks about or, 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 or has forgotten. So, but I, I, never, I didn't write the lyric. So I, I, but that was the idea I wanted. So I called Paul Gordon, who's one of my dear friends and playwright and wonderful songwriter. And I said, I, I want this. The song is called Remember Her. The chorus is, I'm singing that. Now in the verses, I'm, I'm a little bit struggling with the words. So we, do you want to write this with me? He said, I'd love to. And I told him, I described to him what I wanted, that I wanted it to be about a, a woman or some women who had made some contribution that was not appreciated. Mm. And he came back and, you know, he, he wrote this note to me and says, okay, I, I found this woman in history, Cecilia Payne, and, and we're going to do it about her. And I said, perfect. That's fantastic. World Broken, last track. By the way, I noticed that at the end, we, who was, who's doing that little sound at the end? It's almost like after the credits, someone's saying, someone's laughing at the end of that song. Oh, that's Lenny Castro. Is it? Yeah. That's Lenny Castro singing, singing our version that we, we used to do on the road together of the of Ewoks, of the Ewok song at the end of The Return of the Jedi. <laughs> that's what he's doing. Oh, God. Yeah. That World Broken, is that again about the state of affairs? It's, it, it's, it's about the state of affairs and it's about the state of affairs of me. You know, the first part of that song is about in the last 10 years, becoming a happier person kind of thing. And, you know, tearing down the walls that keep us, you know, bound and, and unhappy, those kinds of things and keep us from loving people, that kind of stuff. So that's what the first part of it is about. It's about, it's about the, 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 the world broken of oneself and how, you know that kind of thing and then the second half of it obviously speaks to the state of things remember there are links in the description of this video to both joe williams brand new album and steve lukather's brand new project as well make sure you comment on our video subscribe to our channel and share our videos more from joseph williams coming up in a few days i'm john Bowden from rock history music